We live, Maurice. We live, bitch. We live. We live. Ow. What's popping, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Don't mind my little headband right now, y'all. Um, um, I am laying down my um, I'm melting my lace in my head. I got my little uh, just put some more got to be glued on there and just trying to get my my thing ready. So. As you can see, I love me some Aquafina, y'all. I don't care what y'all talking about. Best thing in the world. So I'm going to do a mukbang. Okay, this is my first one, so I'm really excited. I've been saying I wanted to do one. And I did say that I needed... I'm trying to... Okay, there we go. Um, I needed to do my... Redo my... Um, my Q&A slash uh, all about me. So the mukbang we're gonna do is the famous Brewcrest Grill, honey. And if you if you live in Detroit and you have not been to Brewcrest, you need to get your life all the way together, okay? So I'm doing um, the Brewcrest Grill. They're really famous for their chicken shawarmas, but I'm tired of the shawarmas for right now. I'm on the shawarma salad. And a curly fry. So here, girl, yes, this curly fry. The steam is hot, it's fresh. I don't know, cause I got I gotta have potatoes with my fries. I mean, with my fries, I gotta have potatoes with my um salad. I don't know. Mmm. That was funny. Okay. So I got the chicken shawarma salad. I can always get the large because then I can take some to work. Like literally, look at this chicken, y'all. Woo! Oh, nah. -uh. I'm gonna want more chicken now. Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. Okay. We're not gonna waste no chicken. No, I only get cucumbers, lettuce, and the pita chips. Oh, it come with like peppers and onions and tomatoes. I don't like all that. Just give me a little regular, regular degular. You know what I'm saying? A little hookup. So I'm gonna pour it in my little bowl here. Cause see, if the trick is, if you put it on the side, honey. If you put it on the side, baby, you gonna have lettuce and chicken for days. Even though I see they played me on my lettuce right now. But it's okay because I got some in the refrigerator. But I really had a taste for some salad. And I didn't feel like cooking no... Um, I didn't feel like cooking no chicken. Because I just woke up. It's like 5 o'clock. Look at that. Tell me the salad don't look good. I wait. Mm, mm, mm. Get on up in there. Well, we're gonna have a fiesta for real okay honey now you can't tell me that ain't good then they got the famous um mm, they got the famous uh vinaigrette now i didn't like vinaigrette but they vinaigrette be popping let me stir it up. I done tried to get the recipe plenty of times. And one person say one thing, the other person say the other. They be lying, lying. I'm like, just tell me the tea. Oof. Y'all get into the salad. Let me let me let y'all get into the salad, baby, because let me, mm, before I bless the food. Just get a deep look at this salad, honey. When we got the curly fries on deck. Okay. Okay, let's bust this food real fast. And then we're gonna get into it. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this food and I'm about to receive in your name. Amen, honey. Amen. All right, y'all. Let me just take a quick little bite because I I actually wanted this last night at work. But when I tried to call and um get it, it was you hear that crunch of that pita chip, baby? Ooh. 
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 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 No. Mm. This shit good. Okay. Nah. This shit right here? Period poo. It's good. Let me catch up. I mean, I gave me some. Mm hmm. Come on through. Nah. I'm gonna get my little, I'm gonna get my little dipping sauce on the side right here. My little ketchup. I'm gonna get my little ketchup together. And just be able to dip it. See? All right. Hold on, let me take one more bite. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all just don't understand the goodness. The goodness that's in this thing right here. Okay. So, I was going to do... Um, I was going to post my other get ready with me tonight. But... I'm starting a new segment called Detroit Food Fridays, which I'm Fridays willing that my paycheck come in. I mean, women, I got a little extra little cash on the side. Mm. I'm starting a new segment called, um, what the other one up? Detroit Food Fridays. And where. I'm going to bring y'all different foods, different mukbangs. Now, I'm going to try to do it every Friday. If not, every Friday, every other Friday. Because I'm trying to be better and cook. You know what I mean? But anyway, so. Y'all want to know who your girl is, right? What made me start a YouTube channel? Get up on this YouTube thing, right? So, for starters, I am Chervon Renee. I grew up, I was born, I was born in Dublin, Georgia. Um, but we moved here when I was like one or two. So I'm from Georgia, but I was raised in Detroit. Um, uh, I have five sisters, four on my mom's side and one on my dad's side. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This thing's so good. I have four nephews and one niece. And yeah, I got um what else I got? I got a Diddy and I got a step daddy. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, me and my, my biological father, we not really we're trying to get a better relationship, but it's a work in the progress. You know, everybody want to be a daddy's girl. I ain't going to get too deep in that right now because that's a whole emotional roller coaster that your girl ain't trying to go down. But I have a stepdad. Um, Y'all seen him when um I posted my wedding vlog. Um, Not my wedding vlog, but my wedding video. My stepdad um, walked me down the aisle. Um, I have two companies, as y'all know. Southwest House Management. I manage a rap artist and a band. Um, I was managing a uh, Randy and his daughter, um, but I'm just now getting back into the um, music. I'm just now getting back into my, like my companies and stuff because I had like a big, big. After my mom died, I just had a big mental breakdown. Like I did not. 
take care of myself. I didn't, I was still trying to like move, 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 move and not really cope. So I'm starting back, getting back into things, really, um, really trying to uh, get my life back on track. Um, I have suffered, I've been suffering from anxiety and depression since I was like 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? So, but as I got older, I started taking care of myself, started doing the thing. But then when my mom died, I was just like, oh girl, I'm good. Like, I'm good. No, nah, no, nah, your girl wasn't. She wasn't good. Okay. Wasn't good. And so I had just like this big old mental breakdown. I had, like, everything had to stop. I was only working like 16 hours a month. The girl wasn't like going to work. It was it's a whole it was a whole big thing. Like it was a whole big thing. And thank you, like that I got a supportive, supportive husband that really helped me and really get me together. And I got supportive friends and family, my sisters, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time I bite into the salad, it's just like fireworks. It's popping in my mouth. You know what I mean? It's popping. Um, but anyways, so yeah. So, take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Therapy is not a bad thing. Okay? Sometimes you just need that one person to be like, Hey, sis, you're doing too much. Sit down, get your life, and come back. I need you, I need you to come back. I need you to get your... Get your shit together and period. So my therapist and I got a, I got a therapist and a life coach. Everybody, I don't care how much money you got, I don't care how bad you think you is. Everybody need therapy, okay? Everybody needs therapy. Get you a therapy sis or bruh. It's good for you, okay? But sometimes talking to your friends, talking to your family. Or talking to your spouse, sometimes isn't healthy for you. Sometimes they be trying to give you advice. You need somebody that's not looking, not in a situation or somebody that knows you to talk to. You know what I mean? It is really crucial. Your mental health and people make it seem so bad. Like, oh, I don't want to be crazy. It ain't about all that, sis. Eh, get all that negative energy out of here. Get away. And people, if you tell somebody you suffering and you having issues and somebody and your your friend tell you, oh, I don't want to, ah, 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 ah. fuck out of here. That's what you need to tell them. Go to therapy, baby. It's good for you. Okay. So, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. honey. I really wanted some mighty, um, Randy got me hooked on this mighty shop. Okay. It's this mighty shop thing. I'm, I'm going to go do a mukbang with them because they chicken and waffles, baby. Fire. Okay. Period. I had some red velvet, uh, waffles from there. That's what I really wanted. But DoorDash talking about it was way out of the radius. First of all, if it's DoorDash, how was it out of the restaurant's radius? The restaurant ain't. Order him. The DoorDash person is. Let's just drive over there and come over to my house. I thought DoorDash was supposed to be so. You know what I'm saying? Come on, out the radius. Y'all be killing me. That's what I really wanted, but it's okay. Sorry, this salad is. This salad is getting me all the way together in the community, honey. It's getting me all the way together. Anyways, um, so yeah, I um. I had that little itch, little situation. Got us together. Now I'm healthier. I'm mentally healthier. Now I got to get physically healthier. I ain't trying to be skinny. I'm trying to be healthy because I like a little meat on my body. You know what I'm saying? Period. Mm -mm. Net. First of all, it's winter time. So where did you even come from? First of all, fuck out of here. Your season is over. Next season is over. Shit. Anyways. Um. 
So yeah, I graduated from Brester International High School. Period. Your girl was prom queen. You look. <laughs> Hold on, push pause. Don't talk to me. You talk to a queen. <laughs> like I was already a queen. And not Nat, go somewhere. You was not about to get no fifteen minutes of fame, bitch. Why? I need to go uh, plug in this little um fly light. I thought y'all was over with. Here. You interrupt my video. Anyway. Yeah, your girl was prom queen. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Mexican town. So I went to Western. You know what I'm saying? When I won prom queen, it was like an Obama moment. You know what I mean? It was like an Obama moment. So, and you don't have to be extra, right? Y'all know I'm extra. Y'all already know I'm extra. So, I ran, like, every year, I ran for something. Prom queen, I mean, prom queen, like, Miss Freshman, Miss Western, Miss Sophomore, Miss Junior. I always ran for something. And in high school, is really when I got my confidence up. It's, <clears throat> Jesus. A damn piece of chicken went down my throat. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, so yeah. High school is really when I got my confidence because um, when I graduated from elementary school and went to middle school, is when I got vitiligo. So, vitiligo, I have it here. I used to have it in my ear, but it's gone. And I used to have it on my back. Um, but for some reason, it just started disappearing. Like, before, all this was white. Like, up to here. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was in middle school. And all of a sudden, it started closing in. I stopped using the medicine because I feel like when I was using the medicine, it was, like, spreading. So, vitiligo was, like, the white um, blood cells. And I'm losing pigment. So, I don't really understand it, really. I really didn't look into it too much because I really didn't care. Back in middle school, honey, I was like, oh, my God, I want to go. That's when I really started having my depression and stuff. I was like, I don't want to go to school. I'm dying I'm like, ah. Like, you know, all the extra shit. But now, sis, in high school, when I got to high school, I started feeling myself. I was just like, oh, honey, bitch, I'm cute. Oh, okay. Like, that's when I really started feeling myself. So, I was just like, oh. I want to run for something because I want my pictures to be all over the school. Like we we can be, you had um like so when you ran for stuff, right? You had to make these big posters and like you know say vote for me this and this and that. Like I was printing out pictures, giving people little things. I was just like, oh yes, honey, here take this picture, vote for your girl. A girl is fine, you know what I mean? Like I was really feeling myself, even though people was like, oh, people, you know people, you know people like be talking about you. You be like, I don't care, sis, because I'm still cute. You can be mad because I'm still cute, so you can be mad all you want to, but you hate on me because you're mad because I'm cute. And I got a white spot and I'm cute. So, period. Big dot. Mm. So, I went through that phase, but girl, on prom, prom took the cake. Okay. My prom dress was lit. Okay. Matter of fact, let me drop a picture right now. Right now. Right here. Right now. Okay, you see that? A bitch was cute. Okay. And you seen the little short number? And then I had a poofy number. So nobody knew my dress. I had to tell somebody about my prom dress, right? But I didn't tell them it ripped off. I just told them what it looked like. And they showed up a dress similar to mine. I wasn't mad because I was just like, oh girl, don't worry about it because I'm about to quick change on your wife and I won this prom because I knew. I knew I was winning prom point, honey. I knew I was gonna win. Okay. Period. So, I don't smoke ketchup. So, when I won prom queen, when they announced me, and they was crowning me, girl, I started ripping my dress. Ripping it off. Ripping the dress off. And, girl, they were screaming. They was here for it. So, oh, there's a reunion that's coming up. I need to find me a number that's going to, I ain't going to do no quick change, but I need to find me, I got to get my, I got to get my set custom made. Because, honey, this reunion about to be sick, bitch. 
I don't care who show up, who don't show up. I just know I'm going to show up and it's going to be bomb. Bomb as fuck. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. Let me keep y'all posted. Because the reunion is this year. Your girl planned a reunion. Yours truly, you know, prom queen had a plan to come come through. We're going to be on a princess boat. Period. Our prom, our prom was at the Brewster Tail, which it was so pretty. Uh, we remember the Brewster was like one of those... It was a nice little um haul off the water. It is so pretty, y'all. But I wasn't about to put all this money in the um reunion. So the way I did it was I came up with a deal with the boat that all the ticket sales go to them. They buy they we buy their tickets from them. Everybody buy their tickets of individual. I don't wanna cut nobody money. I don't say, oh she's not my uh, 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 uh. I'm not nobody money. No. Mm -mm. Y'all gonna send y'all money to them, and we gonna have a good time. You show up, you show up, you don't, you don't. Cause guess what? Who gonna be there? Me and my two, my two besties, my two twin besties gonna be there. Me. Period. Mm. This damn thing is so good. Oh, it sounds so good. No even four. Um, but anyways, um, anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to be there. So yeah, I want prom queen. What else happened? Um, what can you tell y'all? I told y'all I was cute. Period. <laughs> so as y'all can see, I'm conceited. My husband like, my husband be like, girl, get your life. I be always in the mirror, always in taking pictures. I got like 3,000 pictures in my phone of me. Of me, literally. 3,000. Of me. And even if I upload them to Facebook, I should be deleting them because they're on Facebook. But I just like going to see my pictures. Like... I take pictures all day, every day. Even on my bad days, I look good. So, whatever. And anyways, I can tell you about my husband. My husband's so fine. Y'all seen him. Y'all seen my husband. He fine, ain't he? So, I'm tall. And he. I'm taller than my husband. But guess what, honey? He got the muscles, honey. Ooh. Just thinking about him, man. <laughs> so, me and my husband, we met online. Um, do y'all remember tag? Y'all remember the tag days? Comment down below and like this video if y'all know if y'all remember the tag days, bitch. Tag was um before Facebook. Was it before Facebook or was it the same time? Tag was before Facebook. And my um uh, my name on there was Miss Candy Kisses, right? So I had a lot of people on my Facebook. I mean on my Facebook, on my tag account. Like a lot of people on my tag account. Like I felt like I was famous, like, because I had so many people on my Facebook, um, my face, I can see on Facebook, on my tag account, so people, like, I used to go out, be like, out in the mall and stuff, and they're like, hey, what's up, Miss Candy Kisses, I'm like, what up, what up, you know what I'm saying, so, people, I wasn't surprised that people was, like, knowing who I was, um, it was just on, like, some G shit, you know what I'm saying, like, my personality just drives people to me, so it wasn't like, I'm talking to a whole bunch of people, no, it was just like, I'm, I'm just that deal. You know what I mean? Like, period. But anyways, so this is how we act. So we actually met. We were talking for like a couple of months uh, on on face, on, on tag. And like his profile picture was kind of weird. But like when I click on his profile picture, um, when I click on his profile, like going through his pictures, his muscles was like, I was like, Whoa. Whoa, I got a little wrestler on my hands. Woo! You know what I mean? So I was just talking to him, you know what I'm saying? So then I was about to delete my tag because that's when um and, you know it was MySpace and Facebook and stuff. So I was getting really heavy on my um Facebook. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to delete this tag. Like, I don't even want it no more. Like, I'm about to just delete it. So you know, you know when you uh you know when y'all when y'all used to do take take those um do those trap those trap uh statuses like 
Inbox me your number. Um, I'm about to, uh, if you don't got my number, inbox me because I'm about to delete it. I'm going to head on to Facebook. You know what I'm saying? A little trap. A little trap. Just, I was trying to trap to see who was going to get the bait. He got the bait, honey. <laughs> we was already talking, but we never exchanged numbers. So he was just like, you know, give me your number. Um, this and this and that. So I gave him my number. And then like two days later, I'm walking on the street with my sister. Now, this day, I had got into an argument with one of my friends, with one of my ex-friends. We're not friends no more. And so, mm. Mm, mm, mm. sorry, I got into an argument with one of my ex-friends. We're not friends no more. Um, I was walking down the street to the store, talking to my sister, telling her the story. So, I'm lit. I'm going off because I'm I'm mad, like mad, mad. Going off, ready to fight. Just tell her story, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, hey, Miss Candy Kizzles, what's up? I was like, hey, and kept going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just thinking to somebody I'm like at the mood right now, I'm not in the mood to talk. So like 15 minutes later, when I get back to the house, I get um I get online to surf the net. Sign in and say, see what's going on. He inboxed me like Dang. So, no, I didn't give him my number. I didn't give him my number. We were talking first. So, he was like, dang. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I see you. like, we've been talking for all this time. I see you in the street. You just blow me off. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. It was, it was a bad day. I was venting my sisters, this, this, and that. I, was like, I, didn't know I, I didn't know it was you. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't paying attention. I was just like, so, I was like, I was in blackout mode. Like, I was just mad. So, I, I, I inboxed him. My number and he give me his number. I text him. He don't text me back. He don't write me in the inbox. He tell me. Two weeks later, okay. Two weeks later, he texts me like, "How does it feel to be ignored?" <laughs> Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> First of all, are you feeling yourself? Oh, you feel yourself, but I like. <laughs> What you mean? How would feel to be ignored? Oh, you patty, patty. Okay. So then he like get to talk and he like, so, you know, where, what you doing? Where you at? I'm like, well, I just left the Coney, gave me some food. I was like, you know, the Coney by my house got the best Coney ever. He was like, no, nah, the Coney by my house got the best food ever. I'm like, no, nah, you ain't fucking with Detroit One. He like, Detroit One? What you doing in my hood? I said, obviously, I was walking to the store. I was like, I just figured you was, it's summertime. I'm thinking of people coming out of town all the time. So he like, what? He was like, I live two blocks from Detroit 1. I said, show up. I live a block and a half from Detroit 1. So this Detroit 1 right here, okay? This is my apartment down here. This is his apartment. We live literally two blocks from each other. Crazy, right? So the next, like, so we talking and I'm like, I was like, well, let's meet up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's meet up. What's popping? He's like, you want to come to the house? I'm like, cool. Now, that wasn't the smartest idea. Yeah, it was smart, you know what I'm saying? Because it happened. But when you meet somebody online, you're supposed to meet them like in a public place first. But me, me being me, I'm just like, look, let's let's connect. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get it together. So we connect, we go to his house. Uh, we play the game and stuff, you know what I'm saying? We chill like a little villain, you know, having a little good time. So then he was like, okay, well, I'm about to walk you home. It, we didn't even notice. It was like like almost 12.30. Like, I went over there like about 6, and I left like about 12.30. Like, he walked me home. So as he walked me home or whatever, we still chopping it up talking. We talked, like, we stayed talking for like a good three hours outside now mind you it's kind of breeze it's kind of kind of chilly outside but me being a lady i don't let nobody else my apartment not you know what i'm saying i'll go to your apartment you know what i mean but i'm not gonna let you into my house like i don't know you like that son you know what i'm saying like it's different like and I'm, i feel like i was tall i'm like you know what? i can handle him but his muscles i was just like <laughs> but like you know what i'm saying i i wasn't i wasn't scared you know what i'm saying i was i was a thug like it wasn't the stupid it was a, it wasn't the smartest thing to do but Whatever. So, um, after that, after that day, we after that day we linked up. We literally 
talked to each other every day from that day, hung out with each other every day since that day. I would go to his house, well, he'll walk me home, and we'll still talk for a couple of hours. That went on for like three months straight, okay? Within that three months, before meeting him, I was going to, um, I was getting ready to, uh, I had booked my plane ticket to go to Austin and see if I liked it to live, see if I wanted to live in Austin, Texas. I was, I wanted to leave, I wanted something new, I wanted to just go be free, you know what I'm saying, my, I'm on my grandma's child. My grandma child used to, my grandma used to just go and hop and just see what she wanted to, let, you know, just lay, you know what I'm saying, so I wanted to see what Austin was talking about, so um, I had to eventually tell him, like, look. I've already paid for my ticket to Austin. I have a job interviews laid up out there. I'm going out there for a week coming up. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to tell him it was like already happening. So but at that time, we were talking for like three months straight. And like, uh, you know, walking home. He was walking me home. Still at this point, he still made it to my apartment. Okay. So I, before I left, like but a month before when I told him I was going to Austin for a week, it was already, I had my tickets booked two months in advance in my hotel and everything. So it was getting ready. I had like about two or three weeks before I went to Austin or whatever. And so um, at that point, I um, I let him upstairs. Um, so we have a security guard. At, we used to have a security guard at night. They used to you could come and you had to sign in and stuff to before you can go go and see visit anybody, like show your ID and stuff. So he came up before she got there. So I'm, as I'm walking him down, and she was like, "What? What? You made it upstairs?" He was like, "Cause you know, Miss Brown was letting you upstairs. Y'all be outside talking for a minute." She said, "I knew it was coming." She said, y'all been out there for months. She's like, and it be, it's cold as hell. I was like, y'all been out there chopping it up for hours. And she was like, all right. I see you made it upstairs. I'll be seeing you. Okay. So, I'm cracking up. And, um, I'm cracking up. I'm cracking up or whatever. So, I go to Austin. I get to Austin. I find a job. I was going to be like a, a bus attendant. My mom had a pastor that lived out there. And... So I I didn't know nobody. I didn't even know the pastor, but my mom knew her. So the pastor came and picked me up one of one of the days and took me to the interview at her school. And um they they hired me on the spot. So then the pastor was like, you know, you don't have to leave. You know, you can just tell your mom to pick up your apartment and you can just come and move in with me. She was like, you that way you can get settled and things like that. Now I love me some Jesus. Okay, Jesus, I love you. You my you my man. You know what I mean? But at that time. I was about to turn 21. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't going to church every Sunday. And I wasn't like, I didn't know if I was still wanting to be a heathen. I didn't know if she was going to make me go to church. I didn't know. I was just scared. I was really, really scared. And then, you know, I was in love. You know what I'm saying? I was in love. And then um, while I was down there, um, my mom was still doing chemo. So it was just like a lot. I was just like... It was just too much, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just too much. It was too, too much, too much, too much. And I was just like, I told Linda when I was in Texas, and like, so when I was in Texas, y'all, this is when I knew I really loved him. So like, he was talking to me like every like when I got on the plane, when I was on the layovers, when I got to the hotel, like I wanted to go get food. He was like, No, what do you mean? You're not about to go get no food. You're gonna order some food and have him bring it to the hotel. Don't go walking around. Did you have your knife? I gave like so he gave me a knife and stuff for, like, to put it pack in my bag or whatever. And he was like, "You have your knife on you? Like you need to be walking around. You need to be safe. I need you to uh, I need you to video call me. I need to make sure you're good. Like don't be walking around. Don't be looking at like a tour. Don't be like, oh my god. He's like, no, don't do all that. You need to go. Don't do what you're supposed to do and get back to your hotel. Lock your doors. Like. He was on my ass, okay? There was a restaurant literally behind my hotel, a Mexican restaurant, and I was starving. And I was like, I don't want nothing. I was like, I want to go get this food. So I go to the restaurant. Girl, he pissed, okay? He like, I told you I didn't want you walking around, this and this and that. I'm going to listen, dude. I know you want me to be safe. I appreciate that you want me to be safe. But... I gotta explore. He's like, you don't need to explore nothing. Cause you coming home. You don't need to explore nothing. Cause you coming home. But my ass home, y'all. Okay. And that's when we told each other we loved each other. And I was like, oh, I gotta go home. I gotta go home. And it was the best decision I ever made in my life. Like, 
me, be with my husband, he was literally the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, he really helped mold the person I am now. Um, and I just love him. Like, he always, I just love him. Like, my husband is the best ever. Like, he got his way. So he's like, he, my husband's like really quiet. He likes to play the game. He don't really like to go out. He don't like to meet new people. If I said I got a new friend, he'd be like, who? Who's this person? How do you know this person? Do you, like, like, he is, I just love him. He's always like, I just love my husband, period. I just love him. He's just so amazing. But, honey, the gag is, after, like, a month and a half of me talking to him, I took a picture of his ID and I, I did a background check. Period, poo. If everybody know, if y'all know me, all my friends, I do background checks, honey. They send me their license plates or their IDs or their first and last name. And I make sure who they, make sure I don't got no warrant, make sure they don't child molester. So if you need your girl to do a background check, honey, I paid for this little um thing. And I do background checks, honey. Mm -mm. No. Because I needed to know, make sure he wasn't crazy. Especially because I better be lying. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Y'all need to you know, all these all these stuff that was happening, like in back then it was like a whole bunch of all these girls popping up dead, dating for the people they dating and stuff. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Background check they ass. Background check they ass. Ladies, here's a secret. This is how my friends get they um get the uh, license plate. You know what I'm saying? So they can tell me where they going, who they with, this and this and that. If I can't be with them, you know what I'm saying? If they need to meet with somebody, you can stand behind the car. You do your selfie, but you be on the side with a license plate. So you get the license plate in there, but you're like... Let me do myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I look cute and get outfit. But really, bitch, you get in the license plate. Okay? Auntie Trevine is telling you the T, baby. Get the license plates. Get them, check them IDs. Check these people. Background check these people. Okay? It only costs $34 for a background check. Period, poo. Do a background check. You don't know these people. These niggas is crazy. Females, too. Niggas, if you get a new, uh, I'm going to say niggas. My bad. My bad. Fellas, if you getting you a lady and you want to make sure she ain't crazy, same thing. Background check. Period. Yo, to, honey, you got to yo, pass this application. If you got to pass for a job, you got to pass to be my... <laughs> mm. You better stop playing with these people. Mm -mm. Stop playing with them. But I'm getting full. This video getting long. It's all like 30 minutes. Mm -mm. We're not doing a long video today. So my salad is almost gone, y'all. I got a little bit left. So I'm out of here. I'm going to take my shower and then get ready to lay down for work. Oh, I thought I had my fucking watch on. I don't know what time it is, but probably like 6. So I can still give me a little quick nap in before I go to, go to work. And wait for daddy to come home. Period, Pooh. So, thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for being the um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your cousins about me. Tell your sisters about me, honey. Subscribe, each. Subscribe, because why not, honey? Period, Pooh. Subscribe to my channel. Or just watch. Either way. You don't gotta subscribe if you don't want to, but I would prefer you subscribe. Cause I'm trying to make some money, okay? Your girl trying to get this Oprah money. All right. All streams of income. Okay, I'm 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 hustle. Hustle real hard. Hustle, hustle real hard. I will see y'all next video, honey. I will be back. Okay, I will be back. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all love this little this little mukbang situation. This um Detroit Food Fridays, okay? Period, poo. Okay? Lashes coming soon. Be Sexy Collections coming soon. Cash Fever album is out right now. Right now. Head over to iTunes. If you have not gotten his album, what are you waiting for? Huh? Honey, we, we trending right now. We trending right now. Okay? This Cash Fever Cash City is out right now. Everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, Pandora. We out here. Okay? Period. You need a, you need, you got a wedding coming up? Book the band. Booking 
Now we booking our new calendar year. Honey, the new year's is coming. The new year is coming. You got a wedding? If you, I will even give you a deal. You, 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 you watch this video and you need a band, inbox me. Okay, I'm gonna give you a deal. And say, hey, you, I got you from YouTube. Okay, cast iron cornbread. I will, the link of the description will be, um, their description will be below as well. All this will be in the description box below. Okay. So, yeah. Booking. It's a book cast on cornbread at gmail.com or hit me up. Okay. I'm out of here for real now, y'all. As always, love, piece of hair grease, honey. And I will see y'all next video. Next video. Be back. Be back here. Back here. Bye, y'all.